how to overcome the pain of losing someone who is dear to us. Shrimad Bhagavatam gives very nice example to demonstrate our attachments and relationships in this material world. Shrimad Bhagavatam informs us just like straws when they are floating on a river. When the waves come, the straws come together for a while and with the next wave they all get separated. Likewise, in a motel or a hotel, travelers, they come together. Somebody is staying for two days, three days. They are together for a while and then they all again separate and go to their respective destinations. Likewise, in this material world, we all have come together as brothers, sisters, father, mothers, relatives, near and dear ones. But actually speaking, we all are spirit soul having our own journey. For a while, temporarily we have come together. Just like when we were in school, we all came together as friends in the same batch, in the same classroom. But then after we graduate, we all get separated. So we all have come together for a while. Our relationships are temporary. Let's keep this fact very much in our mind. These relationships are not eternal. Shakespeare made the statement, the root cause of all our heartaches are wrong expectations. When we have a wrong expectation that these relationships will last or I expect these relationships to last forever, then we are headed for a crude shock. When the reality hits us, we will be shattered. So best, we can have relationships, nothing wrong about it. We can aspire for loving dealings between ourselves, but let's be grounded and rooted in reality. And that can happen if we on a daily basis or for that matter regularly read Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam. Then we will have spiritual wisdom then we will have a spiritual perspective to all relationships. We will understand that just like we go to a hotel, we all come together, but we know that one day we are going to separate. So we don't falsely invest all our time and energy in building those relationships. We are rooted in reality. Likewise, when we read Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavatam daily, we will be rooted in reality. We will have that right perspective. We will have the right knowledge right wisdom and with that wisdom we can cultivate these relationships then when the reality hits us we will not be shattered we will be knowledge that's why krishna the gita says dhiras tatranam huyati a sober man is not bewildered by a change when a person leaves the body a sober man a wise man is not bewildered by such a change so it's very very important more so in present time that we are quite well versed with the knowledge of Gita and we should spend time in reading Gita, understanding Gita and trying to apply the instructions in our daily lives. Hare Krishna.